And I think in the last 10 to 15 years, we've made we've made some good inroads in defining ROI. One strong metric is engagement, true engagement, not a thumbs up like, um, although that is a, a weak, weakly correlated uh, level of engagement. But re- it's better than reach, right? Which we don't yeah, know what that yeah. is. Yeah, I have what, 1,551 followers and I've lost count. I, you know, long ago I tried to curate the uh, bots and the the porn and, you know, try to get rid of some of the followers, but I've completely lost track. So, so followers only really matters once you get into, I think, to the stratospheric numbers, the, the 10 thousands, um, because there's probably another study out there that says what percentage of your followers are real people. And out of those, what percentage are engaged with you? We could probably find that research. So, you know, you could apply a, a, a factor to followers and get a, a, a metric from that. Um, but people who comment, who share uh, your posts, uh, that's the real engagement that shows ROI. Now, we have positive engagement like that and negative engagement. Um, I was reading about a guitar amp this morning before work, of course. And, um, and you know, there I was on Reddit and there's people going back and forth about the pros and cons of this guitar amp. And, and, and we at TrueScope, we track Reddit. We have a license with Reddit and we, we go through all of that content. And if Vox Amplification was a client of ours, we would be doing a sentiment analysis around engagement. And that's probably one of our most important uh, graphs at this point is social media engagement, sentiment analysis around social media engagement. How much positive social media engagement, how much negative. And of course, there's a lot of neutral stuff where someone just agrees and and, um, retweets it. But I think that's one strong area of ROI is engagement because, and, and I think you and I discussed this at least 10 years ago, and I, it was probably around a political race where either you brought it up or we discovered or, or we agreed that the research shows the strongest influencers of how you vote is friends and family. It's, it's nothing else. It's, it's not advertising. It's, it's not the look or the messaging of the candidate. It's um, if I trust you, and you say, hey, Todd, I'm, I'm, I'm voting this way because this person represents yada, yada, yada. Um, that's more influential than if I see an ad on TV. 